So that's after uh, hitting it with the black with the uh, little Cryptek stencils we got here. So uh, overall, I mean, I don't know. I don't mind it. It's different. A little cool. Now, obviously, this is some professional pattern stuff where you're going to get it like uh what's it hydro dipped where it's like oh it looks super precise i mean we're using spray paint and stencils here i mean we're gonna <laughs> the point is to break up the one color where it sticks out so it kind of matches your environment so i'm on the east coast so it is green brown and uh soil black <laughs> so yeah that's uh one side pretty much done and uh, let this dry, hit up the second side, and then see if we have anywhere that we need to touch up and uh, make it a little bit better. All right, so this side's pretty much dry. We're gonna go ahead and flip it over and start on this other side. So same thing, just in reverse. I'm gonna go ahead and hit with the brown tiger striping and go from there. Get these templates out of the way. Boom, all right, so got a little bit of tiger striping on there, let that dry, and then we'll go back and hit it with the, uh, the stencils with the black, and uh, she will be good to go, and we'll see what we got. All right, so we're on to adding the stencil pattern in black to this side. So go ahead and try to lay this down as flat as I can. good This one here for this right here. I don't know what y'all think. I think it looks pretty cool. So we got the little cryptic patterns here. Wait for this to dry. I'm gonna hit up a few little spots, add a little bit more color here and there, but uh, for the most part, she's good. Uh, let, let me let this dry and we'll uh, we'll go over what we got. So I got all the uh, tape off, flashlights, Gucci. I don't know. I don't know about y'all, but I think it looks pretty cool. Side posts, turrets are good. Just gotta get my uh, end cap back on for my lights. Sling back on. She's good. Let me know what y'all think. 
So this is the finished product, guys, with all the tape removed. Got that end cap back on, flashlight's still good. Flip up mounts, don't have any tape on them, we're good. Turrets are good. Don't have any, uh, don't have any paint up in the bolt or in the magwell, already pulled that out and checked, but uh, I think it turned out pretty sweet. Let me know what y'all think. Guess we can check out this other side real quick. That's it guys, it's, uh, it's as easy as that to paint your rifle. Don't get scared, don't be shy. Uh, you don't have to clear coat or do anything crazy. They do have matte clear coat, but don't worry about it. Uh, I mean, if you wanna do it, sure, but you, uh, if you use your weapon, it's gonna wear down, it's gonna rub off, it's gonna flake off, it's gonna just not be pristine. It's not gonna be a finish that lasts a lifetime. If you're one of the people who keeps your gun in a safe, yeah, it could last a lifetime. So uh, if that's what you do. By all means, that's cool. It's your prerogative, it's your weapon. Uh, it doesn't affect me one bit, so uh, whatever I do shouldn't affect you. Um, take those tips for uh, for what they're worth. If uh, you don't want to, then hey, that's cool. Love you anyway. All right, have a good one.